Hello out there folks, it's Dave here from Dave Station VR, and today we're going to talk about a game called Shattered State, which is the newest VR title from Supermassive Games, who you might be familiar with from games like Until Dawn Rush of Blood, the really good one they made, or uh, Bravo Team or The Impatient, which were both uh, kind of overpriced and not that great. So um, this is actually not on PSVR, it's exclusive to Google Daydream for now, but I figured I'd check it out just to kind of take the pulse on Supermassive and see if they can get back on the horse, because the last couple of games have not been great. So uh, I didn't write down any notes for this, this is just going to be kind of unscripted. Uh, I just finished playing the game for the first time, it's about 45 minutes long, and uh, give you some thoughts. So unlike Bravo Team, uh, this is a game where Supermassive is going back to their roots, like the original Until Dawn, or even The Inpatient, where it's pretty much just a choose-your-own-adventure book except you're in VR. And uh, with this one, as compared to The Inpatient, the decisions actually seem important. It's not like I'm deciding whether or not to be nice or shitty to an orderly in a mental hospital. Um, you know, I am the director of the National Intelligence Agency, and I'm trying to prevent a civil war from occurring, and I have to protect the prime minister and, you know, order drone strikes and all kinds of shit. You feel very underprepared for the job, but at least the decisions have some sort of weight to them. Um, it, it's a very big game as compared to uh, The Inpatient. So I think that's a good thing for them. Like in Until Dawn, the original one that they kind of made their name on, uh, you know, a lot of those decisions are life and death decisions. And so they kind of lost a bit of that, but I think they're getting back to it. And their format works really well uh, with this sort of like high stakes choose your own adventure style uh, experience. So for the most part, I really enjoyed this one. The dialogue and writing here I thought was really top notch. The voice acting's great. And um, it really kind of puts you in this political thriller space where you feel like, you know, you are the guy trying to prevent a military uprising and a coup in your government. And even though it's like hard to make the decisions, um, you can see the repercussions. The only downside is that the entire game takes place from a desk, pretty much. So even though you're making these big decisions, you only see them play out like on their version of CNN on a screen somewhere, or somebody tells you what happened. Um, and I feel like in even in The Inpatient, you embodied that person, you experienced the things, you moved around. Um, and like Until Dawn, of course, you know, you saw everything as it happened. You were right there. So this feels a little detached. That might be part of the idea, I guess, because you are like the director of a national agency. But at the same time, it'd be nice to have a little bit more uh, direct connection with the material and, you know, like really see the results of your decisions. But um, in terms of the actual story and how the plot plays out, they definitely tie all that in. The other thing I have to say that would be a great direction for Supermassive games, and I know mobile platforms are cheaper than consoles and PCs, but Jesus Christ, this game is $8.50, and it's a 45-minute experience that you can replay a million different ways, and oh, I forgot to mention, they don't beat you over the head with the butterfly effect. Every other Supermassive game, they're like, hey, do you know about the butterfly effect? Let me tell you about the butterfly effect. In this one, they don't even fuck with you on that shit. So um, yeah, I really appreciated that they kind of eased back on that a little bit, just let you go through it. Um, you know, every Choose Your Own Adventure book doesn't just say, this is a Choose Your Own Adventure book every page. Um, <laughs> so that, that was nice. Um, God, I lost my train of thought. What I was trying to say was, essentially, if they focused on this kind of short VR experience that you can replay a bunch of times, but only costs you like 10 bucks or so, um, instead of, you know, Inpatient was way too expensive. Because it's basically the same as this game, except less good. It's not even that much longer. So I feel like if they keep doing this sort of thing, and then maybe eventually port this stuff to PSVR once it's not uh, exclusive to Google Daydream anymore, or if they just created something like this for PSVR that was priced reasonably and just had some higher stakes than, uh, you know, Inpatient, and just wasn't Bravo Team, of course... But I think they're going back in a good direction. So I know there's been articles about how Supermassive Games, you know, internally went through a lot of strife. And, you know, that's the reason Bravo Team turned out the way it was. I think that this is 
them turning a corner and getting back to what they're good at. And for the most part, I had a really good time with it. So I think it's worth eight fifty if you've got a Google Daydream out there. And um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good rest of your day.